So your buddy used to have trouble sleeping until he started taking melatonin. And now he claims he's sleeping like a baby. So you think, hey, maybe there's something to this stuff. Should you try it? Now, we can't give medical advice. If you think you might have a sleep disorder, you should definitely see your doctor. But we can tell you a little bit about how melatonin supplements work. Melatonin is a chemical that's made in your brain, and it helps to regulate your circadian rhythm. So for a while now, people have been taking it as a supplement to help them sleep. And one analysis of the literature says it helps people with certain sleep disorders fall asleep a little faster and stay asleep a little longer. Better than placebo, but not as good as actual prescription sleep drugs. And not all of the research has even found that much. So the American Academy of Sleep Medicine recommends doctors not use melatonin to treat insomnia just because the findings are so mixed. And melatonin isn't a drug, it's a supplement. In the United States, that means it's only loosely regulated by the FDA. They don't monitor supplements before they go to market. I could put, uh, I don't know, dragon fruit extract in a bottle, say it supports memory, call it a supplement, and the FDA couldn't do a thing as long as I slapped on this handy disclaimer. Okay, we're being a bit silly here, but this is actually a very long, very interesting story, so check out the link in the description if you want to learn more. So anyway, there are a few things you should consider before you go all in on melatonin. First, melatonin has pretty poor bioavailability. Something that's bioavailable gets taken up and used by your body, while something that's not basically goes to waste. One study showed that when you take melatonin orally, only 15% of it actually makes it into your bloodstream. The rest probably gets broken down by your liver. Another study found that melatonin might be more bioavailable as a nasal spray. At least, if you're a rabbit, it hasn't been studied in humans yet. But research has found that oral sprays or cheek patches were also more effective than pills or gummies because the melatonin probably skips your digestive system that way. Second, the jury is very much still out on what the right dose of melatonin is. Frequently, you'll see three milligrams. But a small study from MIT found that for older adults with insomnia, doses as low as 0.3 or 0.1 milligrams, that's one tenth and one thirtieth of the regular dose, had basically the same effect as the three milligram dose. Oh, and that was oral melatonin, so the dose getting into their systems was even lower. That was just for insomnia though. In people with normal sleep patterns, melatonin didn't seem to make any difference at all. Also, the study found that at the three milligram dose, melatonin could remain in people's systems into much of the next day, which might not make you the most bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at the morning meeting. Finally, it may be worth your time to make sure that what's on the label is exactly what's in the bottle. One study found that the amount of melatonin in some pills was not remotely close to the amount on the label, from 83% less than there was supposed to be to almost 500% more. That variability was not only between different melatonin products, but different lots of the same product as well. Even worse, some melatonin products contained serotonin. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that's present in our brains, and it's chemically similar to melatonin. But serotonin can be dangerous in high doses, and dangerous is not a surprise you want to find lurking in your sleeping pills. If you want to be sure the label is accurate, look for something that says it conforms to USP standards. United States Pharmacopeia is a strange sounding name, but they look out for the quality and purity of drugs and some supplements. If a supplement maker volunteers to comply with their standards, it means what you see on the label is really what you're gonna get. Although that tells you nothing about whether it actually works. Here's what you should take away. Research shows melatonin may help some people sleep better, but it's pretty far from being a miracle pill. And even if it does work for you, the benefits might be mm, slight. So there's a lot to keep in mind while you shop. Before you go, we want to tell you guys about the new show Hot Mess from PBS Digital Studios. It's all about the hot mess we've gotten our planet into and how we're going to get out of it. It is going to be the best climate science show on YouTube, we promise. Go check it out right now. You won't regret it. Thanks for joining us this week. And to make sure you get more great videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, share all our videos, especially with that guy who won't shut up about melatonin. You know the one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.